untap your full potential with the untapped deck tracker. Both the in-game overlay and the personal stats provide a lot of value. Download it for free today using the link below and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another historic gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at a mono black rat colony deck as voted on by my supporters on Patreon titled Horny Rats as we're playing the full playset of Herald's Horn from Jumpstart, a three man artifact. As it enters the battlefield we have to choose a creature type which is going to be rat and creature spells of the chosen type cost one less to cast and at the beginning of our upkeep we can look at the top card of our library and if it's a creature card of the chosen type we can reveal it and put it into our hand and a whopping 30 rats are featured in this deck so we've got a pretty good chance of revealing a rat and putting it into our hand with 26 copies of a rat colony the two mana two one that gets plus one plus so for each other rat we control and the deck can have any number of cards named rat colony which is why we can get away with 26 copies and then the four other rats are pack rat a star star whose power and toughness are each equal to the number of rats we control and for two and a black we can discard a card to make a token that's a copy of pack rat so we can maybe discard our excess lands to make more rats and then the only other non-creature spell in the deck are four copies of Thalsis which we can play on turn one to maybe take away a key removal spell or sweeper effect from the opponent's hand to make sure that our rats go uncontested and then we've got 22 lands with 18 basic swamps and four copies of Castle Lochthwain as a nice mana sink to help us draw more rats so the game plan is very simple turn two play rats turn three ideally play Herald's Horn and then on turn four we can play up to four copies of rat colony to add a ton of power and toughness to the board so it's a very straightforward and fun deck so let's jump into some games and see how the deck does all right we're on the draw with a fine opening hand four copies of rat colony so if we can find a third land we'll be in business even have the turn one thought sees and our points on goblins um probably take hmm, i guess instigator is kind of annoying and so is wily goblin just because it trades for a rat colony Although Chieftains, they're only 3-drop, so it could go in a few different directions. Could also take Snoop to cut off their card advantage and then try and leverage Herald's Horn. That doesn't seem like a bad idea, because even with the Chieftain in play, our Rat Colony can still trade for a 2-2 Goblin. Alright, I mean, this is basically the dream curve. Thought sees into Rat Colony, into Herald's Horn, into 3 or 4 more Rats. And then I might as well trade now, since I'm going to end up trading eventually. Although I guess by not trading, I prevent the Chieftain from attacking me next turn. So I guess it is probably fine to just take it. Could have also played one rat and then next turn go horn plus play one rat colony. But I want to live the dream of playing four rats on turn four. Uh-oh, Goblin Matron. Probably gets Muxus here, or Krenko gets Muxus. And then now I should probably trade. Sadly, don't reveal a rat for the four rats here, but... So next turn my opponent can slam down Muxus. Another matron. If they have a goblin chain warlord in their deck, that's also gonna be bad news. Just gets Krenko, that's already good enough here. Alright, I guess we'll take it and then don't know what needs to happen for me to do anything next turn even if I find two rats I'm only attacking for 18 which is not quite enough but at the very least it's impressive our opponent took it like a champ sadly don't have a way to close out the game here but I'll take it we put a goblin stack to two life with our Mimi rats colony deck GG's. On to the next one. All 
All right, we're on the play with a fine hand. Let's see what we're up against. All right, some sort of dragon ramp deck. A Grixis colored, definitely take Ritual of Soot. That's why I thought Seize is in the deck to take away sweepers. Ideally, we find a Herald's Horn or a Castle Lochthwain. And there's Herald's Horn. And name a rat. In this case, it could have been reasonable to go rat colony and then horn plus rats since we only had two rats in hand. Alright, so points at 14. I mean, they might have to trade away their dragon here. If that's their play. And we found a rat. And another. So opponent has to trade. And take 10. I'll play out my land. Sometimes you want to save some lands in case of pack rats so you can discard lands to make some tokens. Thought Erasure is going to see Basic Swamp. Do they have a Sweeper here? They don't, and they explode. A Rat Colony for the win. Luckily had a Thought Seize for that Ritual of Soot. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play with a Keepable Hand. Let's see what we're up against. Turn one forests into incubation. Finds paradise druids. Kick things off with a rat colony for now. Ooh, Harold Soren. Um, I might actually go rat colony and then horn plus another rat next turn. And a Prime Speaker Vanifar. Alright, so my opponent could combo me out next turn. I guess instead of Horn plus Rat, we can go Rat plus Thoughtseize to maybe prevent the combo from happening. Although I guess with Paradise Druid it could already be too late since Vanifar can get a 3-drop and kind of kickstart the entire engine. So, I guess we take Tower Scouts, and we'll see if the opponent can combo off here. Finds Nightmare Shepherd, which they can play. Vanifar sinks Druid, gets Tower Scouts, untaps Vanifar. Interesting, they didn't go for it. Alright, I mean, I guess Horn... Naming rats into maybe pack rat this time. They get a Vanifar token, but now the shepherd's gone. Vanifar is still legendary. So next turn I can activate Pack Rat and play Rat Colony. Although Castle would have been a nice one to be able to play as well, but I think that's still the way to go. See if they can find a way out here. Another Vanifar. Okay, and my opponent explodes. 
So I'm not sure if they weren't able to combo off when they untapped with Venifar the first time, but I'm glad they didn't. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play, and uh, two lands, five rat colonies. Probably not gonna cut it in most matchups, but I'll try it for science. Yeah, we'll either need to draw two lands by turn four so we can start double spelling, or we need to find land plus Herald's Horn, or just hope that the opponent's kept a hand that doesn't do anything. Alright, so some sort of burn deck. Thermal Alchemists. Alright. Well, we did draw two lanes, so next turn we get to play double right, which is pretty powerful. Although we're probably going to see a few burn spells pointed at our creatures as well. And Castle gives us a bit of late game that we otherwise wouldn't have. Electrostatic field. My opponent keeps playing creatures that can't effectively block my rat colony. Well, some decks are complicated to play, this one not so much. Just play your lanes, play your creature's main phase for the most part, turn them sideways. Nah, let's hope they don't have like a Goblin Chain Warlord here, or some other Sweeper. Therma Alchemist on taps. We're at 15. I guess there's a chance they can just kill us here if they've got a few copies of Secure the Critics. Finds land skewer. Skewers essentially 5 damage. So with two skewers they would still be a little bit short. So they might have to point them at my creatures. Yeah, I think my opponent's dead now. Uh, I guess they'll have to triple chum block. And then I should probably play my land since we can start activating castle. I guess my opponent could be a second right deck. I guess it would explain some of their play. Uh, let's see if we get second rights to death here. I kind of want to see it now. All right, Warlord's Fury. I was a little nervous for a second there. Yeah, I guess my opponent's just a, a second right tech. And they were trying to get us to 10 life to then kill us, which explains all those creatures that ping for one. Although it's been a long time since I had to think about second right. Haven't seen that card since I made a video about it. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a keepable hand. Turn one Thoughtseize. 
followed by some rats. And what is this? A uh, white life gain deck. Looks like it. Um, Pride Mate is pretty scary. Heliod is pretty scary. Which one do I want to take? Probably the Pride Mate. And then the question is whether we want to block or not. Opponent attacks with both. So I could trade for Orator. And then Princess puts counter on itself, but next turn we can still maybe trade for it. Not that I actively want to trade, but it seems like it's going to be challenging to race a big lifelinking creature that they can keep putting counters onto. Daxos into Hawk, that's unfortunate. Now the Princess turns into a 3-3 and Heliot turns into a creature. So those were some pretty good draws. And now a Thought Seize looks pretty bad. Yeah, an active Heliot's gonna be impossible to race here. Oh well, not much we could do. Opponent can give their creatures lifelink. Can block Princess. So yeah, this is just game over. Alright, GG's. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw with a fine hand. If we can find a third land for a Herald's Horn, we're in business, and there we go. Facing Botanical Sanctum. And a Spectral Sailor. Uh-oh, could be a blue-green flash deck. I guess I want to get Packrat in play before any potential counter spells can hit it. And one way to beat counter spells is just to activate pack right over and over, although never mind, I guess it's just a banned spirits deck with collected company. And uh eh, who knows? I guess maybe banned flyers. So Yeah, I think I just want to play Herald Sword this turn. Can attack with pack rats, and then if they block I could activate. So we'll get our one damage in. Opponent takes it. And the next turn we get to play four rat colonies, which is always fun. So this is probably banned flyers with company. It's gonna be a Shacklegeist. And hit for four. So they might have another spirit to tap down pack right here. Sadly, don't find a rat here. But here's one. Here's two. Here's three. And here's four. Alright, Nubble Gas Heralds, thanks to the Watcher of the Spheres discount. Taps down pack right. Alright. Well, we might be dead here to a rally of wings. Although I don't know if they have room for a rally if they're also playing company. Alright, take four. Uh, 
And this might be a collected company in our combat step. Or in our upkeep. So good, I hope they don't reveal too many spirits. Or creatures in general, but the fact that they're thinking about it is probably not a good sign. Alright, so that's gonna be three spirits to tap down three rats, and yeah, we're pretty dead on the way back here. Well, we had a promising draw, but I guess we were just a turn behind. And Shackle guys can tap down two more rats. And yeah, that should do it. Could have made another pack rat end of turn. But sadly, the rats are gonna be beaten by the pigeons here. GG's. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw. This hand looks promising. Turn 1 Thought Seize, turn 2 Rant, hopefully turn 3 Horn. That's uh, what a, an ideal draw looks like. Facing... Turn on island. Alright, so some sort of Sultai control deck. Gotta take extinction event. No doubt about it. I guess it's a four color version with uh, Yasharn. So hopefully find a land. Now if they do have negate for Herald's Horn, so we'll maybe have to play around that. Can attack first, maybe they'll Mythos, and then we can play Horn. It's funny that uh, we would rather play against a four-color version with Mythos as opposed to the Sultai version with Maelstrom Pulse, which is quite effective against Rat Colony specifically. Alright, Gross Peril, so they don't have blue mana up anymore. Alright, never mind. But yeah, we'll just attack. And then hope they Mythos. And then we can tap out for Horn. And if they take it, I'll just play another rat. So we missed out on one damage, but we give ourselves the opportunity to get Horn in play, which seems important in what is maybe going to be a grindy matchup. And of course, Mythos also could have destroyed Horn since they have access to all three colors. And then, yeah, now that they have negate in hand, I'm just gonna double rats. So it's gonna be tricky to resolve this, maybe just activate castle. At least Nissa we can take out. And since they didn't untap their blue mana, we can uh, play Horn. Yeah, I guess we'll trade and then this is dead. Name right. Put on stop decking. And we find more rats. 
Now a cool trick you can do if you have multiple horns is to let one trigger go and then maybe activate castle in your upkeep to maybe find more rats. So we'll set some stops here just in case. Alright, can they find another extinction event? Eliminates. That's fine. Alright, so... Opponent concedes to the Herald's Horn triggers on the stack. Alright, sweet. Well, feels good to beat an established deck like Four Color Midrange with our Rat Colony meme deck. So yeah, overall, not the best deck in Historic, but definitely good for a fun time and not too expensive to put together, assuming you've got Thoughtseize and Castle Lochthwain already. So that's gonna do it for today's gameplay. Wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and have a happy and healthy 2021. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.